incorporate hydraulics, we have to incorporate steel work, and we also have to incorporate special effects that happen after the, the castle rises up there, uh, right above the trees. So that's the main challenge, it's just to be a referee somehow, to, to kind of keep a balance between technology and art all the time. Six weeks before the parade's debut, sound technicians are working at 3.30 in the morning on a deserted main street, equalizing the music from each float to match the acoustics of the street. You, you would love to hear that. If you were my father, you would love to hear da 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 You're not hearing the vocals, you're just hearing the music. Animation program is meanwhile a busy choreographing their magic, adding lifelike actions to the lovable crustacean on the Little Mermaid float. Okay, everybody! We have, do you have any broad sweeping moves? Where he like does this and it stops and turns? Yeah, he definitely has to use things like that. Sebastian right now does seven different functions animatronic-wise. That's entered initially, typically, on a console like this. These are his left and right arms going up and down. You've got a head nod function that goes up and down. And all these together create the total package for Sebastian. Well, it's certainly the most sophisticated we've done here at Walt Disney World with the uh, quantity of animation that's on the street, on the various different units. While drivers guide the floats along the parade route, the music, animation, and special effects are controlled from a high-tech electronic center hidden beneath the streets of the Magic Kingdom Park. Parade one, 30 seconds till show. Platform. Here in a room along the famous tunnel is the electronic brain that controls the sound system and many of the audio animatronic figures at the various attractions. Parade one, two minutes, step off two. During the parade, each float electronically transmits its present location to this computer. In turn, the computer controls this sound mixing board, turning on and off speakers hidden in the buildings along the parade route, seamlessly matching the music amplified from each float. The digital audio control system is just one of the many departments here in Mickey's basement. The famed tunnel beneath the Magic Kingdom Park, in reality, is ground level. The Magic Kingdom was built on top. It's where Mickey and the other cast members come to pick up their costumes each day. Mickey himself has 175 different outfits, ranging from a scuba diving suit to black tie and tail. Cast members could do their banking, grab a sandwich, even get a haircut here in the tunnel. In a way, it's like a small city beneath a magic kingdom. A puppet. Um, he can move his his right leg right here. Yeah. It, it oh. moves because during the percussion section, all of our animals move, move get to keep time. Oh, that is his so great. His trunk goes up and down. We had a great designer on this. Woo! Ah! So. Oh, look. Oh, even down to the detail of the eyelashes, yes. Denny. These giraffes, look at how sweet they are. They're like the bull elephant, they're puppets, and they also have leg movement, so during the percussion section, they can join in as well. They're much larger than the real giraffes, aren't they? No, they're not. They're, they're almost this, the life size. Oh, look. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Honey, you're so cute. Now, what's this? This is our gazelle tree. It's the second unit in the parade. It follows our opening unit, and we've got... Right? Uh, this is actually... Uh, pushed manpower. We have really? four people pushing it. It's a lot lighter than it looks. Wow. Um, one of my favorite things, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a, a great, not many people see it, but the detail that goes into it. See, it's Simba sitting oh, on the... Oh, look at Simba. He's, he's on the tree as, as Mufasa is trying to help him. <laughs> and this is part of our rainforest. Uh, right. So this is where Pumbaa and Timon live. Oh, I love Pumbaa and Timon. Yeah, Pumbaa's at the end of this float. It's gorgeous. Um, the float actually rains on the guests and the monkeys that All hang in the trees, yes. Oh, that's so great. That's part of one of our finale effects. Uh -oh. <laughs> There's one of our bugs. Now, what kind of bug would you say this is? This Danny? is a rhino beetle. Oh. And you uh -huh. got to get a peek at Alan over there. Ah. And he's going to show us how so, it works. Alan, you're Mr. Rhino Beetle, huh? Yep. Yeah. Hey, let me see some of the stuff you can do, Alan. Spin it around. <laughs> you can make it go backwards and come forward to all the kids. Yeah, so if I was a little kid and I was, like, going to be, like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> it gets really busy back here during yeah, the lineup, what we call lineup. We gotta get everybody in order. They're gonna go to go, go to their individual units. This is a ritual that the tribal cranes have started themselves to get them excited for the parade. So they always do some sort of circle. Ritual. This is good. They just made it up themselves. It gives them the energy to go on. That's great. 
Come on, you guys. Come on, Ryan. I'm doing the new choreography today. What do you think? Ready? Yeah, okay, you show me. Okay. And you gotta do this kind of pouty thing. <laughs> Break a leg. 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 Break a le